Hi there, I'm Christopher Dunnigan. This is Handmade in Vermont.com, and today we're talking about the Hubberton Forge Large Scale List Chandelier. It's a very beautiful fixture. There's also smaller versions of it, plus wall sconces. You should check it out. 192043 is the number on it. Let's get into size on it. It's going to be 21.9 inches high. I'm going to call that 22. From the bottom of the fixture to the top loop where the first piece of chain is going to start, 43 inches in diameter, so it's a pretty good size and it is going to be using 20 arms and 20 sockets and 20 of these and we'll jump into this really quick so this is a frosted sandblasted diffuser that's going to screw over the socket it's going to be using this g9 socket and there's threading on it so basically what happens is there's a little housing a metal housing going around it you probably about up to here and this is just going to beautifully screw onto the top of it and then you have your little glow like candles in there so it's kind of a contemporary takeoff on a candle chandelier using these uh, frosted sandblasted diffusers really really pretty um, let's hop into a few other things so it's going to be shipping with six feet of chain uh, 11 is it 11 or oh, eight, 15 feet of wire it's even better so 15 feet of wire 11 uh, uh, let's go back 15 feet of wire, 6 feet of chain. If you need more chain than that, we do sell more chain. Chain comes in 36 inch increments and there's a little seam on the side that allows you to open and close the chain. Your installer is going to have a tool that's going to make that really easy. You can use as little as one piece or you can use as much as you want getting up to that 15 feet of wire. If you need more wire than that, just let me know, but 15 feet is quite a bit. Um, on top of that, you're going to be getting this awesome canopy this is going to go on the ceiling it's going to be what this hangs from it's going to be five inches i think it's actually five and a quarter and it's going to go over your standard four inch junction box this only weighs 19 pounds it looks like really substantially heavy but you have to remember that you have to engineer these things so they're not really heavy plus those arms are going to be they have to be hollow because there's a wire inside of those things so it's very user friendly as far as hanging weight going over a regular standard junction box without any problem at all okay Let's move on to the really important thing. A lot of people think that this is a halogen fixture. Hubberton Forge says it's a halogen fixture. It's really not anymore. When it was developed a long time ago in design, there weren't that many LEDs available for this fixture, and it does still ship with, uh, I think they're 40 watt, 40 watt halogen bulbs, and the bottoms have these little prongs on them, and they just kind of snap right in, just like that. Uh, you don't have to use these if you don't want to. I would probably use these in the beginning just to see what they're like. You're going to have them anyway. However, there are all kinds of great LEDs that exist for this fixture. And I'm going to have some pictures of them right next to me. So you're going to have, um, these are going to be the phosphorus LEDs that are out in the marketplace right now. They're kind of new. So they have these orange glow sticks inside that light up and electricity goes through. These are also kind of cool. These are called uh, cob, like corn cob LEDs. This big one is a 75 watt equivalent. The smaller one with the frosting on it, frosted cover, that's 60 watt equivalent. These things can pump out a lot of light, so really take advantage of that. They don't use a lot of electricity. They don't generate much heat. You can buy dimmable versions of them. You should really kind of look into that. When you are looking into that, um, as I talk about all the time with LEDs, I tend to like the warmth and glow of an incandescent bulb from our youth. We all remember this. This is called a warm white. It's 3000 Kelvin. That's going to be that older incandescent glow. A lot of people um, like that, like I said. And you can get these bulbs in that same color temperature. So uh, color temperature of light is, is done by what's called Kelvin, the Kelvin number. So 3000 Kelvin is the warm white. If you like daylight, and daylight is a white light, like a doctor's office, that's going to be 4,000, 5,000 Kelvin. The light that's coming down in my hands right now from the LEDs that are above me, these are only 40-watt uh, equivalent LEDs, warm white. These are 3,000 Kelvin, so these are the warm whites that I like. Um, and they, they, if you're going to make this look like candles and you want to dim up to down, that's where you really want to go, unless you're in total love with the, the white light, and some people have told me they are. So remember, 4,000, 5,000 Kelvin, that's going to be that whiter light, and then 3,000 Kelvin is going to be what's called warm white, okay? Very important to know those things. Let's, talk about Let's get into metal finishes now. If you're on our website, handmadeinvermont.com, do me a favor, look over on the left-hand side of the screen. You're going to see a lot of red tabs over there. One is going to be the finishes help guide. When you're done with this video, go over there and open that up for me, and you're going to see a video at the top of that page of me talking to you guys about the differences in Hubberton Forge finishes and how they can look on different types of forging. I'm going to be referencing a color chart just below the video. So scroll down a little bit, you'll see that chart. You'll notice there are pictures that have the letter A on them, pictures that have the letter B on them, 
And I'm going to be talking about that range you can see in variance on there in that video. So it's really important to watch the video, use that chart. When you're done with all that, come back down to that chart. You can click on any of those pictures and see a lot more samples of Hubbardson Forge fixtures in that finish. If you want to see a bunch of stuff in dark smoke, click on dark smoke. If you want to see a bunch of stuff in vintage platinum, do the same and so on and so on and so on. That's a great way for you to see a lot of Hubbardton Forge stuff in different finishes and really take advantage of that, okay? So our showroom in Vermont has over 350 Hubbardton Forge fixtures spread across two floors. <clears throat> we have a what's on display page on our website. It's going to be back in the red tabs over there. A lot of good things in that, that section to check out. So when you open that up, you'll see it's all divided up into different sections like uh, dining pendants and outdoor lighting. We're always adding to that. This is the biggest showroom in the world of Hubbardton Forge. They don't even have a showroom like this. Nobody does. And they use this as their showroom when you guys come to Vermont to visit us. So lots and lots to see here. <clears throat> you can see all the different glass, all the different finishes, all the different fabrics, all of those things. In addition to that, we have a clearance center. So the clearance center stuff are returns, discontinued things, and showroom samples. That's an amazing deal for you. If you guys want to take advantage of that, you, gotta, you have to come here to, to Vermont to see us. And when you do, do me a favor. Measure all the kind of things about your project and what you guys are doing. So the most important thing is measure your ceiling heights to begin with. Measure distances between junction boxes and like windows and ceilings and those kind of things. So we, if you're looking at sconces on the wall, you can see if they're going to fit for you. If you're doing pendants over a kitchen island, measure the distances between those junction boxes. Widths of tables, kitchen tables, dining tables, uh, lengths of tables, islands, all that good stuff. <clears throat> and also uh, do a couple more things. If you guys have some tablets or iPads lying around, take pictures of all these things. Take pictures of the, of the kitchen, take pictures of what the projects you're doing. Bring that in so we can kind of go through those pictures together and we'll be able to see what you guys are up to, okay? And also the boxes and clearance stuff, for clearance stuff, are basically uh, packed for shipping. Don't forget, these were supposedly shipped out. So <clears throat> the boxes tend to be on the bigger side, so bring a decent size SUV if you want to take stuff home. It's a really good opportunity for you. When you buy your Hubbardson Forge fixtures from HandmadeInVermont.com, shipping is free to every state except Alaska and Hawaii. There's no tax if we ship out of the state of Vermont. We're the only dealer that offers 90-day returns and no restocking fees. That's three months after you receive something to send it back, and there's no restocking fee on that. Some larger items and custom things, and it's usually going to be big things on pallets, are going to be non-returnable. It'll always tell you on the page for uh, an item if that is the case, so always keep an eye out for that. And we also offer a rush program. So to get all these different metal finishes, Hubberton Forge doesn't stock. It, they generally take about three to four weeks to get product out. We can cut that time in half, and it's really, really inexpensive. If you want to know more about that, just drop me a quick email, and I can clue you in on details, okay? So our showroom in Vermont is open every day except Sunday from 11 to 6. I'm here every day except Sunday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Time. If you want to drop a quick email, you can do that all the time. And that's going to be at sales at handmadeinvermont.com and we spell out the word Vermont. <clears throat> or you can call me during business hours, 802-446-2400. So thank you for stopping in today and we'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.